Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today, we're excited to bring you the new 2023 No Boundaries 19.5 travel trailer. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, close it up at the end, show you what it looks like closed. This is more of a couple's travel trailer. We're excited to show you all the new features. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2023 Nobo 19.5 model here. We're gonna spin through the inside, head back out. So let's start up front here. So for the new 2023 change up, we have different wood color, different countertop colors, different floor pattern, Now up here you have a 60 by 80 queen bed. This bed will actually raise up, so there is some storage underneath of there. There is an electric outlet on each side of the bed, and then there's also a controller down there for the inverter as well. A Little bit of storage on each side of the bed there. The window on each side of the bed does open, but the front window does not. Some overhead cabinetry across the top there has little shock assist holders to hold the doors up for you. Backlit LED lighting in there and the switch to turn that on and off is just under the cabinet there. But plenty of room to kind of maneuver around in here. Now spinning back around, looking toward the rear of the RV. You have the 32 inch Connexus 12 volt TV. That is on a swing arm, so it will maneuver around for you. Decent amount of counter space up top. Down below here, you have some shelf space. And then on the left side is a hanging closet area and a little lock box. Down below that is your propane furnace. Looking up at the roof here, we have a Coleman air conditioning system. Now over here, you do have a central vac, dustpan vac setup. So you can sweep everything right into that. It does not come with the hoses. You can purchase those through the uh, vacuum makers website if you want, but the camper's all linoleum, so it's easy to take a broom and sweep it right into the dustpan vac. There's a convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave either one, and there's also some storage there under the sink area. Two burner propane stove top with the flip up glass lid. So if you're not actually doing any cooking, this will flip right on down and give you a little bit more counter space. Large single bowl sink. The window behind the sink there does open. High rise faucet. You have some storage space up above here as well. Hood and rage light and fan. Now your little slide out area here, Schwentech slide, push a button, it goes in and out. This little sofa area will flip down, make into a bed. So if you do have an extra guest, they could sleep right there. You have a little fold up and down removable table. So you could take it outside, use it on a nice day, use it in here, or leave it at home if it's just in your way. Some overhead Storage space above, again, has those little gas struts or, or little uh, shocks on there to help you hold the doors up there. Propane leak detector and electric outlet down there on the wall. Digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your air conditioner. Back here in the back, you have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt nor uh, cold refrigerator. 
Down below that, you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses. And that electric box will auto detect whether you have a lead acid battery or a lithium type of battery. So it's kind of nice that it will detect that depending on what you decide to put on it. Now back here is going to be your bathroom area, a fairly decent sized bathroom for an RV this size. Start down here at the bottom. So again, all vinyl floor in here. You do have a foot flush toilet. There is some sink space and storage space down below. Wood medicine carry, uh, cabinet up there. Large turbo exhaust fan here to get all the shower moisture out of there. There are some controls over here as well. So you have your solar charge controller Monitor panel system here, so you got water pump, water heater on gas, electric buttons outside for the water heater, battery condition, fresh water, black and gray water meters, 12 volt heat pads for the holding tanks, has an enclosed underbelly, you'll see when we get outside, and a little light switch. Another little thing we'll talk about is the AquaView shower miser. Nice feature to have, let's get spun around here. You can kind of see that down in here. But that basically helps circulate the hot water and stuff so you're less likely to run out of hot water, but also less likely to run out of water in general. So it kind of lets you get the water set up before you have to worry about getting in there. On the side of the cabinet here, there is another light switch for the little decorative LED light area over there and some USB charger ports. You have the controls up here. One is a light switch for the light across the front cap. Then you have your awning in and out button, slide in and out button, light strip button for the awning, porch light button, interior light switch. Little hangers here, bottle opener as well. Now stepping back, kind of looking at your doorway area, that changed a little bit. Um, you still have the traditional screen door, entry door kind of set up, but it will have a different looking door you'll see when we get outside. This door is set up with a window and it has the uh, thin shade ready by Lippert. There's basically an aftermarket shade you can go in here but it is a safety glass door you'll see when we get outside, all kind of blacked out. So when you're outside, it don't really look like there's a window, but there is actually a window. And then there's a little promotional poster there that just kind of goes over some important key features about the Nobel. Um, so nice thing to really kind of check into the overall construction along with some of those key features. And then we're going to go outside here, show you around, and then we're also going to talk about this new independent trailer suspension that they came out with. Very cool stuff. And they also have the new tire pressure monitoring system for the tires. This is nice. We'll throw a little video at the end to kind of explain that as well. All right, so we're going to walk around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2023 No Boundaries 19.5 model here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a little bit of graphic change for 2023. Not a huge difference, but enough to mention. Still have the white fiberglass exterior with the lower gray base, vinyl decals, you also have that white fiberglass exterior attached to the Asdale composite material instead of an eighth inch wood Luon backer. So it is much less likely to have delamination issues when it comes to water damage on your fiberglass. Uh, so very important to check out the Asdale onboard website for more information about that. But a nice improvement to the wall construction of the Nobo compared to some other brands. You do have deep tent safety glass windows. 
There's a storage compartment across the front. You can see right here, you have baggage door that flips up and it is connected to a magnetic piece here instead of a plastic latch. Pass through storage compartment area, you can see here some of the aluminum tube framing on that bed base. Um, you can also see the kayak holder that would go on top to that Rhino roof rack. You'll see that when we start talking about the roof later. And then the Elite Suburban griddle, which would actually go right next to the table here. Now you can see in a picture that I popped up uh, of another model that I had done with the griddle out, so that kind of gets you an idea what that looks like. But you got that griddle. You also have your little table next to it to help you with some food prep. And then there is a cold water spray port as well, which is over by the door. And that hose will stretch out across if needed. Looking down below here, you can see your gas line hookup along with the enclosed underbelly and a quick peek over there at that new suspension we'll talk about here shortly. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV up there. Adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes. And then you also have a manual override in the front arm headpiece in case of an electronic failure. Now here we have the six gallon gas and electric water heater. You can see in the picture popping up here, the inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower center, electric switch in the lower left corner, and then your pressure relief valve in the top center there. Make sure you relieve the pressure before you try to drain it. Furnace exhaust out right next to that. This model is a single axle model and it has Goodyear Wrangler tires, aluminum wheels, 12 volt drum brakes, now, peeking underneath the bottom here, you can see that new Kurt suspension, independent suspension, coil springs, nitrogen filled shocks. Now we're gonna pop up a quick video here for uh, the factory did to kind of show you a little bit more information about this. Pretty cool little video. We are on site with you today. I'm Cody Shade and we are giving you a field test of the Kurt Beast Mode suspension system featured on the 2023 No Boundaries product lineup. Now this is our fifth season with No Boundaries, offering our consumers a turnkey adventure unparalleled in the lightweight travel trailer segment. The Kurt Beast Mode is gonna take No Boundaries to that next performance level that you haven't seen yet. What makes it so special? Well, let's start with five inches of articulation on both the single and tandem axle setups. You've got an axle design that provides independent suspension going over smooth or rough terrain that both reduces rattles, reduces vibration, and increases the towability of the product. Now the maintenance schedule on the beast mode suspension system mirrors that of exactly what you have towing down the road today, which is a never adjust braking system along with easy lube hubs, so it's virtually maintenance free. This will not only increase the length of life of the towable unit itself, but it will give you the peace of mind that you need to go farther off the street, from street mode to beast mode like you never have before. Now what sets this product apart are the nitrogen filled gas struts along with racing inspired coil spring design. Performance for No Boundaries has been the pinnacle of the product design. And again, we are laser focused on bringing you the most towable, most versatile product on the market. For more information about the Kurt 
Beast Mode Suspension System, check out forestriverinc.com slash Nobo or contact your local No Boundaries dealer. All right, hope you enjoyed that portion of the video there. So really again, nice upgraded suspension there that they did, giving it more ground clearance as well. Besides the better ride and stuff, more overall ground clearance. So nice to have there again for these more off-road trips. You have the black entry door. Doesn't look like it has a window in it, but as you've seen when we were inside, it did have that window there. Has a little goat image on the door at the lower part, a little different. Triple entrance step, it is the more ride entry step. Due to the extra height, it went to a triple step, where last year's version was a double entry step. So that has changed a little bit. Now that step is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. Comes down, touches the ground, and helps support the weight, and also helps keep the RV from shaking and rocking and rolling. Now there is a traditional porch light up there as well, besides the LED light strip. That porch light is currently in clear mode, but if I flip the switch the other way, it becomes an amber light. So you can kind of control what's going on with your lighting there. Again, cold water spray port and electric outlet right here. Large folding entry handle here. Now next to the entry handle, you're gonna have some informational stickers. Model number 19.5. The Asdale sticker talking about solar on board, the new beast mode package, uh, the extended cold weather package and stuff like that. So a little bit of informational stuff there. But as you're out shopping around looking at RVs, if you see something you like, look next to that entry door and usually that's where you'll find the model number that you can jot down to let your salesperson know what you like. Now on this back corner right here is a side mount plug-in for portable solar panel, an additional up to 20 amps. And the unit will have a solar panel already standard from the factory now for 2023. We'll go over that here shortly. But you can also expand that out by a portable panel if you need more without having to worry about putting something on the roof. Sometimes having that portable panel is really nice because you might want to park under the shade, depending on where you might be camping at and the sun's not rejuicing that uh, battery up very well because the solar panel on the roof might be under shade. Uh, so you could stretch out a portable panel and get some extra juice if needed. Now looking at the rear end here, we have a traditional four inch square tube bumper. Spare tire is mounted to that. You also have uh, in that bumper where a lot of people like to store their dump hose. It has little end caps on it, so you could slide a dump hose inside there and then cap it back off. Ladder on the back will take you up onto the roof. Speaking on the roof here, you can see up here, we have things up here as far as plumbing stack vents, skylights, roof vents, um, you know, air conditioners, all that type of stuff. You gotta get up there from time to time, check the seams and seals, make sure you seal that up. Looking back the other direction here, you can see that Rhino Rack uh, roof system. Also, again, that solar panel, 190 watt roof mount solar panel. And that, again, goes right on down to juice up your battery and helps that 2000 watt inverter that you'll see here shortly kind of do its thing to help you out electrical wise. Now, up here in the top center is prepping for a rear observation camera. It's prepped for the Furion rear observation camera. And that would allow you to see what's going on behind you while you're driving down the road or backing into the campsite or something. Uh, really nice feature to add on. It does not come with that from the factory uh, other than the prepping. Uh, so talk with your sales guy if you're interested about adding that Furion backup camera to the RV. They'll definitely help you out with something like that. You have detachable power cord here. This is roughly a 25, maybe 30 foot long cord. Uh, kind of stretches out. And again, it's 30 amp electric service, detachable. So it's real easy to unhook, roll up, throw in the compartment, and get it out of your way. Cable and satellite inlets and black tank flush also right here. Black tank flush, nice feature to have. 
You can hook the hose up to it. It floods the toilet tank, rinsing it out. Just make sure you do pull your gate valve so you don't overfill it backing up into the camper. Um, so easy to do. Down below here is where your gray and black handles are. So you can pull that handle out and dump everything right out. You can see the little sewer hose connection. And again, kind of looking up underneath of there, you can see that suspension system covered underbelly and stuff. Those holding tanks also have 12 volt heat pads on them to help extend your camping areas here. So weather drops down below that 32 degree mark, flip that switch on, Slide topper could be added on to the RV if wanted. This model has a slide out on it. So there is the av uh, availability aftermarket to add a slide out awning cover to it if that does interest you. Talk with your sales guy about doing something like that as well. The slide out is the 12 volt motor Schwinn Tech slide. We'll talk about that as well when we go back inside to close it up. Over here, we have our city water inlet and our gravity fill fresh water tank fill up. So you just stick a hose in there, fill it up. And just down below here is where you would actually uh, undo the cap to drain it out. There's a little cap that goes right on there to keep everything in. The other side of the storage compartment area here, you can kind of see right here, this panel would actually be removable to get back in behind there so you can deal with possibly checking for leaks or anything like that. Um, you know, just kind of checking out things on your water system. And then right back there is the 2000 watt inverter that again is standard now on the 2023 version. Now, Nobo is starting to offer what's called an unplugged package. The unplugged package um, is something that came on the 19.8 first, and it's been kind of put out there for a couple months on some dealers' lots. A few people we've actually uh, had pick those up already, seem to really like it. But that unplugged package takes that 2000 watt inverter to a 3000, comes with currently four lithium batteries, a new Truma, uh, air conditioner that works 30% more efficient than the traditional RVAC and that will actually run off of the batteries so you don't have to be plugged in. Uh, it comes with 600 watts of solar instead of the 190 watt panel that's standard. So real nice feature to add on if that interests you, if you're a real off the grid camper, but it is pretty pricey. It's up around that $10,000 range um, for all the stuff that comes with that package. Um, again, that's kind of being introduced on the Nobo, so that might change as they kind of go through things, um, but we'll update things as we get more info on it. Now on the corner here, you're gonna have some informational stickers. We're gonna pop these up. These are very important stickers for you. The first sticker is your production date sticker. It tells you VIN number, production date, axle size, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. It's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is gonna be your unloaded vehicle weight, telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also has the length of the RV on it now too. And next is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, the tire sticker, telling you tire size, but most importantly here, telling you tire pressure. This is really important here to maintain your tire pressure. Again, this has that new tire pressure monitoring system on it. Um, I got a little video I'll tap in at the end of this video so that you can see that as well. But nice little setup to have that tire pressure monitor as backup on knowing what's going on with your tires. Up front here, you have a power tongue jack, LED light built in, manual override. Has two inch hitch ball, 
single 20 pound propane tank. Now some customers do choose to add a second tank aftermarket with a dual stage regulator. Um, talk with the sales guy if something like that does interest you. Just remember it adds a little bit to your hitch weight and also will add a, or take away a little bit from your carrying capacity if you do that. So can be done. Again, talk with a sales guy if it interests you. Seven-way Bargman wiring plug has a little holder there to kind of hold it up out of the way. And again, that plug feeds power to your lights, helps charge the battery if you got your 12-volt uh, plug set up properly on your truck, and will also feed wire uh, power back to your brakes. Make sure you have a brake controller in your truck to actually control the brakes of the RV. If you don't, you won't have brakes on the RV. You'll just be using your vehicle's brakes. Room back here for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the battery. Comes with zero batteries from the factory, um, one from Couches RV Nation if you do purchase from them. Again, if you wanted to add a second, talk with a sales guy about that possibly. And again, if you do that unplug package, then that will be set up differently with those bigger lithium batteries inside. Down here, battery disconnect switch. This will shut off the battery for storage purposes. Also, there on the left is the little sensor to send the signal for the tire pressure uh, monitoring system to the screen that comes with it. Across the top of the front, there is an LED light strip. Now that light switch for that is inside the camper on the side of the cabinet. A lot of people flip that switch on and off, don't see anything happen in the camper and then they call in wondering what the switch works for. It's that light strip up there. Heavy duty safety chains are attached to that little pet friendly leash latch holder. So when you're not actually using the RV, it's kind of nice and easy to just to hook your safety chains right to that. You have four heavy duty scissor stabilizer jacks to basically stabilize the RV. All right, we're gonna head inside. I wanna close it up for you real quick, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All righty, we are back inside the new 2023 Nobo 19.5 here. And I just wanna show you how the slide works and also kind of close it up for you here. So up here again, we have our slide button to run in and out. So very important when you are ready to run it in and out, make sure nothing's in the way. And when you're ready to come in, just hit the button. Slide's basically gonna come straight in and go straight out. So real simple to do. Again, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money if you're interested. Everybody likes to save some money, so I would definitely recommend talking with them. But here you can see it is slid in. I still have full access to do pretty much whatever I want in the RV. So I can come in, go to bed. I can come in, you know, use the stove, the microwave, whatever I really need to do. I can still come in here and pretty much do it. All this slide really does is just give you an extra probably maybe 22, 24 inches of floor space to maneuver around in here so it don't feel so tight but i got full access to do everything bathroom you know refrigerator whatever i need to do and then when you're ready to take it back out all you got to do is hit that button to go right on back out And next, we're gonna pop up a quick video on showing you that little tire pressure monitoring system, some little information that I know about it um, to kind of go over with you. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I wanted to take a second here and just kind of show you the basically unboxing and what uh, this tire pressure monitoring system actually does. Um, so this thing here has a lot of great features to it. We're gonna open it up here real quick, show you what it's all about. Okay, 
so I got the box cut open already here just so we don't accidentally stab ourselves on video or something stupid so when you get it out you have a little instructional code here you got a little scanner here but basically it's kind of telling you you got a monitor little 12 volt uh, lighter adapter thing here with USB charger cord and your suction cup mount holder um, a little sticker here that comes with it little warranty registration card and stuff like that here you can kind of see a little mount it's plastic it's got a little magnetic holder but you suction cup with your window it's your little cord and then you have your five inch screen here and it's got a little sticker on it I take off the little sticker on the side of it you do have your on off button and your little charge button here um, so you kind of see what it looks like there and it magnetically attaches here but let's turn it on here real quick so you kind of see what this all looks like now I have already programmed the four tires and stuff. Kind of went through this, cheated a little bit here so I knew a little more about it before we started the video. Uh, but you can come in here and you have different setting controls here for it. Um, so we can come in here, change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, change it from uh, PSI to bar. Uh, you got miles, kilometers, hours, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours, feet, meters. You know, again, kind of do what you prefer depending on where you're uh, located at. Coming back in here, we got our tire pressure alert. And this will do up to five trailers, up to six tires per trailer. And this particular camper that we're in, if you remember that sticker, that tire sticker I showed you earlier, it told us 50 PSI cold. Now, when it comes in from the factory and you unbox this, you gotta actually come in here and set that because it's at basically zero. So just come in here, type in your pressure of whatever the sticker tells you on the camper you happen to own. Hit this here, exit and save. Then we can swap tire locations. Again, depending on our trailer, we can kind of come back in and swap locations, do different stuff like that. Um, automatic code detect again go to our trailer one and then we're gonna step outside here show you what that looks like okay so we're back out here and we are looking at the tires and you can kind of see the screen here we're going to hit our little settings button auto detect code trailer one and then we're gonna pick a tire I've already got the code in here for this particular one, but to redo it, we're basically going to hit the learn button. And then you're supposed to wave it in front of the tire. You hear the beep. It'll pull up the code, save and exit. And then you go do your other tires as well. And you can kind of see here different codes for each tire and it will do up to six tires. So for people with toy haulers and stuff like that, you know, triaxle units, pretty cool little setup. Now, when you're done doing all your tires, you can again do a manual mode detect if you know your codes for each tire. Um, you can connect and disconnect trailers and stuff like that. So you got quite a few different things you can come into this screen and do vehicle ID, uh, date and time, sensors for your battery or your battery sensors basically kind of telling you what's going on with them. Um, so a lot of neat stuff built in to this tire pressure monitor here. Pretty cool little setup. Again, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I hope this really helped you learn a little bit more about the camper, things that come with the campers, and possibly how to use them. Thanks again.